Today we go on a sushi tour in Seattle. There are different types of sushi, including nigiri, sashimi, and temaki. We check out five places to try a variety. We also stop by a local fish market and challenge ourselves to cut our own sashimi. While this is a sushi tour, we come across other unique dishes like crispy sushi rice burger and tuna on tempura shiso leaves. We also do a nature walk at Lincoln Park and conquer a bunch of unexpected stairs. Before we dive deep into the sushi tour, I want to say Thanks to Tipsy Sake for sponsoring this video. Tipsy is an online sake shop that offers sake subscription boxes sent on a quarterly basis. Each box comes with six mini sake tasting bottles that are carefully selected by sake professionals. For those new to sake, sake is a traditional Japanese alcohol made from fermented rice. The Tipsy Sake box also comes with a sake guidebook. Inside is a map of Japan sharing common traits of regional sake. There's a QA section and more. For details on the bottle sent to you, refer to the info cards. Each card tells you the serving temperature, recommended food pairing, the rice variety used, and more. Shall we try a bottle or two? Three! Now, currently, all of these are room temperature, so let's try Kanbara, Bride of the Fox. The recommended food pairing for this sake is sushi, sashimi, and fish. On the info card, it says it's rich and dry. Kanpai! The imagery it paints in my mind I am walking in a foresty mountain and I approach stone steps. And I don't know where it's gonna lead. There's some mystery. The next one, let's try Kudoki Jozu. And it has extremely sweet aromas of green apple. This one's more flowery. Next, let's try the Nambu Bijin. It has a zesty orange flavor that flutters Ooh, the taste buds.、Wow. This one's also fruity. I think this one is lighter than the other two. Yeah, it's definitely right? lighter. Yeah.、Mm -hmm. Are you of age and keen to try tipsy sake? Click the link in the description box and use my discount code to get $20 off your first subscription box. Treat yourself or maybe gift it to a family or friend. You can spice your video chats up by doing a virtual sake tasting party. You might want to check out the tasting video by a sake expert on Tipsy Sake's website. And now, let the sushi tour begin! Yay! Hello, darlings! Who's ready for another food adventure in Washington? There's a specific order I want us to eat the following sushi, but we have to consider the route. We're not gonna drive in zigzags, we're going from north to south. The first stop takes us to the Wallingford neighborhood. We're picking up pressed sushi and a savory appetizer at Yoroshiku. Due to COVID, the main dining area is closed off at the time I filmed this, but here's a general feel of the space. The neutral greenish brown walls are covered with black and white illustrations. You know the drill. Mommyo brought the blanket napkin. <laughs> and it smells so good.、Mm. You know what? I ordered us spam fries. Yes. We have a bunch of regular fries and we have spam. The green stuff on the top, that is seaweed powder. <gasps> Look at those colors!、Yeah. This is the wild sockeye salmon with the ikura on top. And here we have another pressed sushi. This one's the aburishime saba, cured mackerel that's lightly torched. Mommy O brought utensils from home forks, chopsticks, and spoons. Now, these guys with the teal ends, those are from、uh, our Korean set. Oh, this is my mom's gift. When you marry, you got them?、Mm -hmm. So they're like older than me. This wild sockeye salmon is from Alaska. We are here, bordering Canada. Alaska is further north. Sushi experts say rolls must be eaten in one bite. It's quite big. It makes my cheeks fluffy. <laughs> salmon is smooth, and the ikura it brings it that saltiness. Next up, the saba. The mackerel skin has a shiny gradient. It's stunning. The best way I can describe this sabalicious. There is a very subtle smokiness. Did you already eat your second piece? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's really good. Really good. Mamio is happy already. We could just go home and stop the tour at this point. <laughs> Growing up in a Korean household, Mamio used to、uh, cook saba all the time. So, while I'm familiar with eating this cooked, eating it raw is a treat. 
The fries have cooled down. But the reason why we ate the sushi first is because of fries. Uh, you know, fries in general, they tend to be oily. So we don't want that to cover our taste buds. We really wanted to feel the sushi. So that's why we're saving this for last. However, it did get cooled down. But it's okay. I'm sure the flavor is going to be still real good. Here we have the sriracha mayo. They literally put sriracha and mayo. I'm going to have the first fry without anything. <laughs> the texture has been really affected <laughs> with the passing of time. <laughs> it's gotten a little soggy. Mayo and sriracha. It's a tasty combo. It's a little bit dangerous because it's spicy. You wanna try the spam? You know, when I first touched it earlier, I thought it was gonna be very crispy and hard, but it's easy to bite into. This fried spam, when you make in small pieces, uh, you can use it for the salad, like bacon bits. And the spam, you know, it's salty, so you can combine it with the regular fry. What makes it more joyful to eat is the seaweed powder. Next, we head downtown for Nigiri Sushi. On the way, we must greet an 18-foot troll. Yes, I said troll. Beneath the Aurora Bridge is the Fremont Troll. This landmark was created by local artists in 1990, so it's over 30 years old. In its left hand is a real car filled with concrete. Originally, the car kept the bust of Elvis Presley and other items, but after Elvis was stolen, concrete was poured in. It's a sunny and cloudy day as we approach downtown Seattle. Yup, that's the Space Needle. Shiro Sushi focuses on local and seasonal seafood. They first check what's available from Washington and Oregon, then regionally from Alaska and Canada. Subsequently, source globally. The interior is soaked in natural light. This is the 10-piece nigiri assortment. Uh, unfortunately, while we were riding in the car, it kind of moved to one side, so it's a little bit crowded. And in here, we have a sushi rice burger. Have you ever had a rice burger before? It is first time. <laughs> they sell four kinds of rice burgers. This one's called Shiro's Classic. It's got grilled salmon, crispy smelt, pickles, tomato, onion, cabbage, jalapeno sauce, and sweet mayo. Is that a smiley face burnt into the rice? Which of these shall we try first? From the mildest. It looks like they gave us one of each type of fish. So we just need to half and half it. Now what's this one? This one is uh, from Shell something. I forgot the name. Oh, gooey duck! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. ordered a gooey duck. Gooey ducks are big saltwater clams native to the Pacific Northwest. Their shell is small, so they cannot fully retract into it. It's recommended to eat nigiri in one bite. Sushi chefs make them with the specific rice to fish ratio. But we're in a sharing situation, and one whole bite is kind of big for us anyway. Very good. And when you have it as a nigiri like this, the rice is an important factor because this is a sushi rice, vinegar rice, not just plain rice. The sushi rice in this, I notice it's not as sticky and moist compared to the pressed sushi we had earlier. Simply put, the nigiri is yummy, but compared to a rich meaty ramen, nigiri has a subtle flavor, so you need to eat it with a cleansed palate. I am super excited to try the gooey duck. It's crunchy and chewy and simultaneously soft. Let's try the unagi next. I just smoke it. Mommy O and I are fighting about who should eat this. I'm like, Mommy O, you should eat it. <laughs> no, you eat it. Baby, it's no. more best. You eat it. No. <laughs> uh. Juicy fireworks. As the bubbly egg pops, all those liquids spill out. Now I try the egg. A little similar to flan, huh? <laughs> oh, I was just about to say that. What? Did you like go into my mind and read what I was gonna say? Oh yeah, I, I see through you. <laughs> Slightly firmer than a flan though. Mm. Guess what? Crispy sushi rice burger. How can I put it in my mouth all <laughs> together? Oh, that's a challenge. <laughs> you want me to go first then? Me I will eat sushi man. I'm gonna kick. Oh my teeth! <laughs> I have Invisalign, so my teeth are sensitive. Do you think we should we should like divide it like this? Yeah. I like the flavor, oily, savory. It really looks like a hash brown. Hash brown. That's like a cracker. 
The awesomeness is mostly coming from the sauce. Flavor is wonderful. Marvelous. Flavorful. Splendid. Magnificent. <laughs> crunchy outside, crunchy inside. It is not easy to eat. I will finish it at home with fork and knife. Before checking out the next sushi restaurant, let's digest and get some fresh air. We drive further south to Lincoln Park. The name reminds me of Lincoln Park the rock band. Lincoln Park has forested trails that lead to a pebbled shore where you can catch views of a departing ferry. This 135-acre park also has a playground, athletic fields, and picnic tables. On the way back to the car, we have to brave a lot of stairs. It's very steep on the side. Congrats! You did it. At the very end of our walk, we came across a patch of land that really stood out from the rest of the park. The trees were very tall and felt a bit like an actual forest. <laughs> this tree looks like it's taking a nap. It just rolled to the side and... The next sushi spot is committed to serving only sustainable seafood. You can also order real wasabi. The storefront allows a three-minute loading zone for picking up food. Turns out there's a parking lot behind the restaurant. Lots of space, but you do have to pay. Next door to the sushi we got, there's something called husky ice cream. And Mamio picked up coffee there, and we're gonna get dessert after this. We're gonna pick up ice cream. So this is a sushi sampler of the day and they labeled everything. So shiso, marbled king, rainbow trout, bamboo, albacore, lotus root, gobo. This is the pressed sushi of the day. More saba. I had no idea their pressed sushi of today was going to be saba. If I knew that, I probably wouldn't have ordered this, but it's all good. We can compare. The one I'm most excited about is the tuna on snowshoe. The green crunchy base, those are shiso leaves. Oh, I think the chef is a scallion lover. Look at the scallions here and here. Is there scallion in there too? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, they have uh, two slices of lemon. Maybe you want to squeeze the lemon on there? Mm hmm. The tuna is chilly, moist, while the shiso leaves, you know, they're crunchy and oily. It's a nice combo. Yeah. Sashimi platter! Dun da da dun! Da 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 dun! <laughs> Smooth! Oh yeah, let's have it with some of that cucumber. It's vinegary. And sugary. I like how they added side dishes. Albacore? Albacore it is. Once again, very smooth. Oh, and under that, there's more seaweed! Mmm, that was nutty and sweet, but not vinegary, that one. I like it. We're getting her veggies, sea veggies. They put some sort of powder on the top. I think that's my favorite fish from the sashimi platter. What's your favorite? Albacore! <laughs> why, why albacore? I just like texture. But I like the uh, king salmon flavor. You want the shiso? She's so, it's so good. And we have lotus root. I like this sashimi platter because they don't just give you slices of fish. They give you the little side dishes. Oh, gobo. Dang. Oh, very firm. Salty, a little earthy. A little spicy. Mm, soy saucy. Done. I would have it again. And now we do the pressed sushi. Saba. I'm curious about the rice this time. It doesn't look as sticky as the first pressed sushi we had at Yoroshiku. Inside the rice, there are sesame seeds and uh, powdered seaweed. The saba at Yoroshiku was not dry. It's so moist, thick and moist. These are please. <laughs> All right, this is the view from the parking lot. Can we enter from here actually? Oh, I think we can. Cool. 
We got the USA map and Washington Seattle maps all lined up. Hey, this place is cute. It feels homey. And they have like a, a roof style inside here. Hey, this looks good. Bonbon bon candy soft nougat with almonds. Okay, count me in. Look at, I like this little drawings on here too. You have lots of candy. And on this side, they have meats. Mommy O is gonna get the rum truffle. I'm gonna get a mini scoop of the mocha almond fudge. Cheers! <laughs> okay, so Mommy O and I, both our ice cream selections is brown. So we don't really know what's what. I know. This is yours. I'm this is mine? Okay. This is mine. It's cold. Yeah. I don't know why we're eating ice cream. <laughs> it's chilly. Because ice cream shop is there. <laughs> rum, rum, rum. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. There are bits of almond. It has a texture of soaked almond. That tastes real dark. I love this one. Yeah? Mm. Try mine. Mm. Yours is alcoholic oh yeah yours is a little bitter you know what i like about yours i like that there are little bits of chocolate in there biting into cold flakes of chocolate is more satisfying than biting into soaked little bits of almond in it okay so texture wise i prefer yours mm -hmm. flavor wise what do you like more rum rum <laughs> Rum! <laughs> they call this the mini scoop and it's quite small and I thought oh they're just gonna fill it up to the top here but the fact that he just put like a whole little hill on there and that push was... down push yeah. down and put more and don't be deceived by the size and the guy who is scooping this for us a very nice guy mm -hmm. great service mm -hmm. Mamio, mm -hmm. of all the things we ate today what mm -hmm. is your favorite dish? Praise to Saba Sushi at Yoroshiku and to now on Shiso Shell at Mashiko. I agree. The rice burger, I've heard of that before, but it's our first time trying it, so that was a lot of fun. Every place we went to, we enjoyed something. And sometimes the thing we thought we'd enjoy the most, that was actually not the one we enjoyed the most. It was something else. You know, you just never know. By the way, there are other awesome sushi restaurants to check out but some of them are closed on Mondays uh, and Tuesdays as well and today is Monday so we had some limits but even within the limits there was a lot of delicious things we were able to try the following day we are back in downtown Seattle Wasabi Sushi and Izekaya serves an extensive list of creative roles they sell sashimi and nigiri sushi but their non-traditional roles are what intrigue us we got three types of rolls, the Asian Armageddon, love in the afternoon, and Seattle tempura. I am most excited about the Asian Armageddon. It contains spicy tuna, shrimp tempura, jalapeno, seared spicy crab, tobiko, green onion, spicy chili sauce on top. So it's spicy times three. And love in the afternoon contains spicy yellowtail, asparagus. There's also avocado, tobiko, spicy mayo, teriyaki sauce, toasted macadamia nuts on top. The Seattle tempura roll contains salmon, cream cheese, avocado, and teriyaki sauce. Of the three rolls, the Seattle tempura looks like the thickest. Let's start off with the uh, Seattle tempura. <laughs> Is it good? Mm -hmm. Yeah? If we were to eat this at the restaurant, it probably has a very crispy exterior but it's been over an hour because we had to drive and all that like we were looking for parking originally and then we got home Flavor is good! Mm -hmm. Just imagine the tempura side is crunch So parts of the roll has that teriyaki sauce but it's not fully covered a 360 Next, let's try love in the afternoon very saucy on the outside. Sweet and spicy. Spicier than sweet. The tobiko is tiny and when you bite into it, it pops. <laughs> Can you hear it? It's like a strawberry seedy uh, sound. How do you feel about the addition of macadamia nuts on the top? Uh, this one is pretty spicy for me and when I uh, chew macadamia nuts, it blocks the spiciness. 
It's like a shield. Mm. It's like a bodyguard mm -hmm. for your tongue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next up, we're gonna try the Asian Armageddon. One of the end pieces, look, it has a long thing sticking out of it. It has a tail. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm sweating. Yeah. I feel my pores opening up. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Nose oh. is running. What? Look at me, I'm crying. Hi. <laughs> Armageddon might be a good name for that. Very spicy. Whew. Mom, you brought up potato. Tongue. Let's reflect. I feel it on my stomach. Yeah, stomach ache, huh? I don't have a stomach ache, but I feel the spiciness in my stomach. If I stay still, it's spicy, but when I talk, it's even spicier. <sighs> Bring the fire extinguisher. <laughs> I will come back to this restaurant to try the um, other inventive rolls. I don't know how we could finish the Asian Armageddon. We might have to like make a fried rice with it and mix in a bunch of other ingredients. Oh yeah. To like spread out the spiciness. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite roll of all the three we tried? I like tempura. Oh yeah. Mm. I like my love in the afternoon. All right. Hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> <laughs> three, two, one. Toodles, toodles my noodles. noodles. Wow, you knew. I didn't even tell mommy oh that's what we're gonna say. I just counted <laughs> down to see what she would noodles. say. <laughs> just kidding, this video is not over yet. We want to show you Kuzma's fish market in Edmonds. The owner of this shop has been in the fish business since he was 7 years old. They've got a variety of seafood including Dungeness crab, branzino, mussels, and gooey duck. Need something to eat right now? There's jirashi to go. As for us, we are here for the sashimi grade fish. We got some king salmon, toro, and hamachi. They gave us a whole strip, so we're gonna have to cut it ourselves. We probably are doing this totally wrong. <laughs> Here we have the toro. We're not sushi chefs, so I'm gonna say that's pretty good for someone who's done it for the first time. And last but not least, we have the hamachi. Sashimi and nigiri might look simple, but cutting fish consistently and effortlessly is an art. Mamiyo's gonna use the leftovers to make a soup. And the sake we're gonna drink this with is Dasai 45. The serving temperature is cold, so we put it in the fridge. Recommended pairing, meat, sushi, sashimi, and fish. And at the back of the card, it tells you more about the company. Oh, it smells very nice. Mm. Bye. Refreshing yet a little dry. This is so aromatic but uh, it's a still sweet for me. Which one shall we try first? King Salmon. <laughs> Very good. I like to get the first bite without anything. Have a little sake. I have a hard time describing sashimi because the flavors are more subtle. It's not like a penang curry. It's not like Thai food where it's like in your face, right? Next, let's try the toro. Ooh, that's a big piece. Um. <laughs> mm hmm. Okay, texture wise, I prefer that more. The toro is more buttery. Next up, hamachi. That one's chilly. That was the one that was a bit more frozen when you cut into it. It tastes so clean that you can't really taste much. <laughs> Texture's good. It's smooth. Okay. <laughs> so which is your favorite fish of these three? Usually I like hamachi. This time I like salmon. King salmon. Yeah. King Yay. salmon is so buttery. Thankfully they gave us a lot of that. I want to go back to that fish market and get some other stuff. Try some. Oh, yeah. by the way, we got the dessert from there. We got the red bean mm. ice cream. This time, I'm going to dip it in the soy sauce. Remove that excess. We don't want it to be overly salty. 
Sometimes I prefer eating sashimi and sushi without soy sauce or wasabi, but my mood is a little different today. Today I prefer it with some soy sauce, but you need to put a tad of soy sauce. If you guys are wondering where this ginger is from, tell us, mommy o. From restaurant. When we had take takeout order, no, we have some extra left, so I kept them in the fridge. All right, azuki ice cream from the fish market. It looks like we have little bits of the actual bean in there. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Wow, this is a historic moment. This is first time I tried azuki bean ice cream. Creamy and azuki beany. Mm -hmm. And just the right amount of sweet. Yeah, sweetness. Remember those leftover bits of raw fish? Mamio cooked them in her stew and boy was it delicious. Thanks again to Tipsy Sake for sponsoring this video. If you're of age and you want to try it, click the link in the description box and use my discount code. Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. For food and travel in Korea, check out my other channel, Sweet and Tasty TV. Toodles, my noodles. We refolded the to-go boxes so they kind of look like plates now. In previous food tours we filmed in Washington, we we're able to take things to go. But this is raw fish. You don't want it sitting in your car for hours. You want to mm. eat it as fast as possible. For the longest time, I thought it was geoduck. <laughs> but when I was ordering it on the phone today, I was like, I want a geoduck, please. Geoduck nigiri. And she's like, a, a gooey duck? And I was like, wait, are we talking about the same kind of food here? <laughs> you learn something new every day. There is nothing quite like eating at a restaurant and absorbing the ambiance. The interior of Shiro's sushi, it looks very clean cut. I love the wooden ceiling and the lights, flying saucer-like and white. Something is going on. Helicopter is going around in circles. Wow, look at how small it looks compared to that big cloud. The savory sake is inspired by local legends of Niigata's annual Fox Bride Festival. Local lore tells of mysterious lights that appeared on nearby Mount Kirin in the distant past. Sounds very magical. There's more info on this card. Yeah, we have more Bride of Fox. <laughs> oh, and there's a fox on the cap. Yeah. Do you feel like the butterfly on the bottle? You could be the big butterfly, the mama butterfly, and I'll be this one. That one is more like walking in a field of flowers. Wow. Oh. <laughs> and now... Uh. <laughs> 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 you to do my noodle extra. And now, let the sushi tour begin. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> this cap is different. The other ones are screw-on caps. This one, you just push it in. Oh, it got my jacket. There we go.